Hello everyone and welcome, in this tutorial I will show you how the coal industry works in the game. Let's begin. Coal is required to manufacture bricks, cement and steel and it can be also built in a heating plant, provide heating for your city. You can also use it to power a coal power plant and produce electricity. First we need a mine. The mine requires power function but we will import some from the boiler. It also requires workers but they already built a little city close enough so they can walk to it. So let's build the mine. You can check the minimap using this icon for resources and you can build your city right next to them. As you can see we have some coal here, so I will build the mine right here. It's in fossil fuels under coal. As you can see it produces coal ore, so we will need all ore processing plants once we build the, uh, the mine. Because Coal ore cannot be used to produce anything other than coal. You cannot burn it, you need to produce it into coal or process it into coal. So let's place a processing plant around somewhere here for example. As you can see it automatically connects using conveyors. Can you con connect these buildings with conveyors, cable cars or basically dumpers they can produce or transport this coal ore. And I wouldn't recommend using dumpers because they are inefficient and also slow. Uh, I would advise you use conveyors and if you build your mine on top of a hill because that's the only real part where you have resources like maybe it's here I would advise you use the cable cars. I will show you in the end of the video how to use them. It's easier to transport them down from a hill transport the coal down from a hill with so I will show you that in the end of the video. But now let's place this down. Mm, I will press Ctrl. It disables the connection because I will also place down um, storage and aggregate storage because I advise you to do this every time you build the building. Let's connect it. If this building storage, which has a storage of a certain amount of coal ore, fills up, but it cannot produce. So if it fills up but it cannot produce things because there are no workers or power or something, the mine won't be able to produce anything because this has a small storage and once this one fills up, it basically cannot produce anything because they don't have place, space to export all or two. So let's place down a small aggregate storage. And as you can see it's a little bit expensive, there are thousand rubles. You can also use this free one, although you need Trucks to transport things to it. So let's place this down. It should be connected. Cool. Build it manually. Sometimes you have to build it manually because it doesn't connect automatically. Sometimes it doesn't work. It should. Okay, let's import some electricity. Let's first place down. Transformer. Let's place it up here. Oh, I place it the wrong way. Okay, now let's connect the power to it. So here we have a border connection. Right here, an outside connection. Now we just connect it. We'll import, let's say, 8 megawatts. Oops, I'm oh, sorry, import. 9 megawatts should be enough. Should be more than enough. And it's connected. Now we need to connect it to a substation. Let's just do that. Put it down like here. This should be close enough. And also I should connect the processing plant to the road so workers can walk to it. Yes. And now basically once this appears and we have workers, our whole industry is working. We can now use it to produce other things. I will be showing you the power plant, how we can connect it. It's basically the exact same. You first build a storage if you want to, although I recommend you do it. 
visit like this. And then you find the power plant, which is right here. Well, power plant. And you should connect it like this. Although, I will place it down like here because I will use this for brick production because I will show you in the second part of the video how to put the bricks. Okay. Connect the road. Not sure if it's too far away from the workers. Uh, it might be far away. We might have to place them another building. Once the road is finished, you can check it. Okay, they can walk to it, so not a problem. Yes. You can see, we have a color moving from the mine to this storage. It can hold 870 tons that should be enough most part I mean if you connect more than one mines then it might be small as you can see we have to do some example here hmm. this is not connected okay. okay sometimes it doesn't connect so you need to place down a way of transfer it also requires power mm, which Maybe that we won't be able to transport this. Okay. That's good. Let's pass the speed up. Okay. In the meantime, I will show you how to build your brick factory. So, brick factory is in construction industry. Because it requires, or it, it required for building, it requires for building. Let's place it down like here. Mm. Once again, let's connect it with the aggregator. Where? Oh, not that way. This doesn't connect automatically. I'm not sure why. I tried it multiple times. It doesn't connect automatically. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know why. It, it connected. So you need to connect it manually. Then it works. I'm not sure why it doesn't connect automatically. And as you can see, we are producing bricks. Now, bricks, you can sell them, but it doesn't work it. You should build a construction industry, and you should build it for that only. Uh, you shouldn't sell coal either, it doesn't work it. It's much more profitable if you just build a space using a coal power plant and sell the power, it's much, much, more, much more profitable. And uh, basically, that's it. As you can see, our industry is working now. Everything is working perfectly. And that's it. Now I will show you how to use the cable cars. So, uh, I will place it on another end because this is already connected. I don't want to be Let's place it down here, for example. Just want to connect, but control and it won't. Uh, this is too far away from the city, I'm sure of it. Well, people won't walk to here. Not that big of a problem. Please don't. Right here for uh, Let's use... This smaller one should be enough. Now we need a kill of ways. Apply it here. We have two types, heavy and light. I will be using light because it's enough for this small mine. If you have more mines or you might connect it with one, cable way. Or if you want to transport more faster, you can use heavy way, heavy cable way. It only basically does is it gives you more space to put with. We need an unloading and loading station, aggregate station. Now I'm using this small one because this is what is used to keep at cableways. Let's place it down like this. As you can see, it connects with wires. And let's place down a small unloading station. It wants to connect automatically, but it can't. So you can press Ctrl, as I said earlier, to disable the connection so you can build it yourself. As you can see, it's too low, but pressing E. 
makes it higher and Q makes it lower so it can be like this it should be enough and we also connect it to aggregate storage once it's connected we need to buy some cable cars let's buy five see that's max and they are already working as you can see Although they are empty once the mine starts it should be working as you can see they are transporting the coal quite fast and basically that's all you need to know about coal or coal industry I will be showing you how to make cement and steel in a different video. Steel will be in the iron industry video and cement will be in the construction industry video. Not sure when they will be made and they will come out. And um, basically that's it. So if you have any questions or suggestions, please write them in the comment. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.